Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Nginx on your server with Docker. You'll be able to get up and running in no time with a repository that I have available on GitHub. Just clone that bad boy and you can get up and running. This is just a basic tutorial on getting Nginx set up. And after you're used to using Nginx Proxy Manager, I'm not gonna have all the plugins in this tutorial that Nginx Proxy Manager has, but I do just wanna show you how easy it is to get started with just regular Nginx. And there are a lot of benefits to using Nginx that you'll see probably a few videos down the road from me. Now in this tutorial, I already have a few other Docker services set up like image, which I will be using as my application that I'm routing a domain to. If you want to see how to set that up, uh, check out one of my last videos on basically getting a whole web server set up with Nginx proxy manager and then come back here. Okay, let's get started. So right now, guys, I have a domain image.wildebeastmedia.com pointing to the IP address of my server on my local network. So I'm using Cloudflare Tunnel. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, make sure you watch my local HTTPS uh, video. Um, I might reference that a couple times in this video. Now, currently I am actually going off of that previous video and I have um, Nginx Proxy Manager running. And so I have that domain being handled by Nginx Proxy Manager and routing that to the image service here. So here's my self-hosted Google Photos, if you will. Amazing application, obviously I've done tons of videos about this. Uh, but instead of doing uh, Nginx Proxy Manager, I, I wanna show you how to set up Nginx in Docker. Now I do have this uh, GitHub repository right here for convenience. I'll put a link in the description below because then you can just clone this and get started. Uh, I'm probably just gonna create each file manually so that I can discuss each one. I'm running my server on Ubuntu desktop here, uh, but I am just gonna SSH into it and utilize VS Code to create my uh, Nginx container. Now, if you're not familiar with how to set up VS code to a remote server, make sure to watch uh, my video on how to do that. So currently I have uh, Nginx proxy manager in a folder and I will just show you what this looks like on the desktop here. So I have my home and then Docker and then I have a folder for each uh, Docker compose file essentially. Um, that's how I like to organize my, my Docker apps. So I have one for NPM already. I'm gonna create one for Nginx. So if I come in here to VS Code and create a folder for Nginx, of course, that is going to add that right here in my Ubuntu because they are one and the same. Now, the first thing I'll probably create is the Docker Compose file. And I'm just gonna open this up in GitHub. And you can see this is actually just very simple. We just have the services Nginx, grabbing the latest Nginx image, uh, name the container name Nginx. We're gonna go with network mode and host mode, which basically just means it's going to act as if it is installed on the server, which if you are an IT professional, that's typically how you would install uh, Nginx is on the server. So it kind of makes sense to run this in host mode in my opinion, but that also means that it will by default be exposing ports 80 and 443, which is typical for a web server. To configure Nginx, we will just have this uh, one Nginx comp file and I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna bind the uh, logs directory so that we can easily see the access log and the error log from Nginx. And then we're also going to create a conf D folder in which we can put reusable comp files. And I'll show you why that is just so nice to use with Nginx. So let's go ahead and just, I'm just gonna copy the file. And then within Nginx, we're gonna create a docker compose.yml file and paste that into it and save that. Okay, so we have um, our Docker Compose file. Now let's create the Nginx conf file. So new file, nginx.conf. Go back to GitHub here. Let's just take a look at the conf file. So I'm gonna copy this and paste this. Okay, so 
This is kind of just a basic Nginx configuration. I've put comments on each of these statements just to kind of explicitly state what it is for, but the portion that we're most concerned about is the HTTP block here and adding proxy host here. Now let's go ahead and finish up creating our files and then we can talk about um, our actual proxy host here for image. So I do like just having kind of global configuration in a um, individual file so that I don't have too much bloat uh, in this one Nginx conf file. So let's go ahead and create that directory, conf d. And I'll look at that in GitHub. And then you can see I have a few files in here, global.conf, and then a couple real IP confs that I'll show you how to use for if you're using a Cloudflare proxy or a Cloudflare tunnel, and then a WebSocket conf that's needed for image to work. So let's look at that global conf and let's just copy that and create that file and then paste. Now these are all just kind of standard Nginx headers that you would set and just typical security settings such as uh, allowing only secure TLS versions. So TLS version 1.2 and 1.3. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, next file I'll grab is this real IP from Cloudflare Tunnel and I'll show you why we are getting this. Okay, copy, paste. So this is just a convenient comp file that can be added if you are using Cloudflare Tunnel running in a Docker container because in your Nginx logs, if you don't do, if you don't change, if you don't set this setting, you're just gonna see connections to your servers from the Docker container that is running Cloudflare Tunnel. So that is why we set the real IP header and for security purposes, and we want it to only be set from the IP address coming from the Docker network. Now I do also have a similar file that's needed if you're just using Cloudflare proxy, then your connecting IP addresses will be that of Cloudflare's uh, edge network. So you need to basically set um, all of the possible IPv4 and IPv6 IP addresses from Cloudflare. Now, I'm not gonna be doing that, so I'll just leave this here, but if you're using Cloudflare Proxy or you're not running Cloudflare Tunnel in a Docker container, then you're gonna to need to grab this file as well. Last file I'm gonna get is the WebSocket, and we're gonna copy this guy, create that file, and paste. Now, the reason why I'm not just putting all of this within the server block is because it's just multiple lines of code that are always gonna be the same, so it's better to just put that into a reusable comp file that you can then reference. So you notice that when I create a server block, for image here, I'm gonna listen to port 80 for IPv4 and port 80 for IPv6. Declare the server name, and this is going to be image.wildebeestmedia.com. So we're gonna put this in here, and it doesn't have that or that. And the reason why I'm not listening to 443 is because I am just doing an HTTP connection between the Cloudflare tunnel and uh, my proxy host. Cloudflare is already terminating HTTPS with the client. For simplicity, this Nginx container is only gonna support HTTP for now. Of course, uh, in, my, in the next tutorial, I'll go over how to set up CertBot within Docker as well. So just kind of standard image uh, server block. Um, you might wanna put a max body size, and then we need to enable WebSockets for the server. So that's where we declare the WebSocket comp file. And then I'm also going to set the real IP from Cloudflare. That way my Nginx access logs, I see the actual IP address, not my own Docker containers IP address that's running Cloudflare. And then finally, the base location, we are just passing everything to our image instance, which is running on port 2283. And that is running on port 2283 of the local host because I am running Nginx in host mode. So I can just reference local host right here. And that is pretty much it. That is all we really need to run uh, Nginx. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a video on comparing 
Nginx to Nginx proxy manager for the self-hosted community because you might see the benefit in using just plain Nginx. And I'll talk about that later. Uh, but of course, you know, it's kind of cool with the VS code. Of course, I can like fold these code blocks. So if I create multiple proxy hosts, I can just see them really easily with my comments. So let's give this a whirl. I have Portainer here. So I can go into my NPM stack and we can just remove these. Boom, they're gone. Okay, let's see if I can access image again which I cannot, Cloudflare is like, hey, nothing's going on here. Okay, so Nginx Proxy Manager is down. This is the cool thing about Docker is you can just take things down, take things up. Normally you'd, you'd have to go through this whole installation or uninstalling process. So let's hop back in to Nginx, open up a terminal into the server, and I'm going to CD into Nginx, and then we're gonna take Nginx up. Pseudo Docker Compose, up D. First, let's just check the status. So we can do sudo docker ps. And we can see that Nginx latest uh, is up and running. That's good. Okay, let's see if we can come in here and refresh. And would you know it, image is back up and running. Uh, let's check out the access logs real quick. So in my readme file, I'm gonna copy this and just tail those logs real quick. Okay, and it looks like uh, I am actually still getting the uh, Docker IP address of my Cloudflare uh, IP, so I didn't quite cover that. This might be a different IP based on your Docker container, and you could consider running Cloudflare with a static IP address, but let's just duplicate this guy and throw in a 2.1, and I believe that should take care of that. So what we can do, we don't have to restart the Nginx Docker container. We can just do a hot reload of Nginx. So here's another common command here. Let's go and paste that in. That needs to be with sudo. So sudo, that should be hot reloaded. So let me see if I'm getting the real IP and now. Go back, refresh this page, access the app, run that tail command. And now I'm seeing the IP address of my actual home router. So now I can see the actual connection. So if I connected from my phone, I would see the IP address of my phone on here as well. So that is a basic Nginx configuration. Now, of course, that is pretty bare bones. We didn't even do CertBot, uh, you know, TLS certificates. I'll go over how to do like GeoIP blocking, et cetera, et cetera. Um, oh, and uh, you know, obviously, um, uh, DNS challenge for your TLS uh, SSL certificates. That is a convenience of Nginx Proxy Manager is that it just has a lot of the plugins uh, already built into it. You don't have to add anything else, but that is for a later time. So hopefully this kind of helps you uh, get started using regular Nginx. If you guys learned something from this Nginx in Docker tutorial, let me know in the comments. Uh, and make sure to subscribe because I will be doing some more stuff with Engine X, and you're not gonna wanna miss it, I hope. So I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. All right.